a blessed and prosperous day to each and every one of us. The title of our research is Studify, our research database for STEM students. Before we start, allow us to introduce ourselves first. I am Johanna Patricia G. Arzadon. I am Jim Robin C. Aban. I'm Emma John D. Buban. I am Nika Joshua P. Panilla. I'm Jordan Joy R. Velasco. And we are from Group A of 12 STEM Veritas. As we all know, searching on the internet is more convenient than visiting huge libraries. In fact, according to Lucas et al. 2022, checking online rather than going to huge library is recommended because there are instances that there are no available sources in libraries. Finding related literature is evidently difficult, but despite its difficulty, students still have to undergo this process. It is because of the Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013, also known as the R810533. It says that students have to take Practical Research 1, Practical Research 2, 3 eyes, and Work Immersion as one of their textualized or applied disciplines. As per Brooke et al. 2015, literature search emerges as a major issue in crafting an effective literature review to students. Also, the unavailability of relevant literature, specifically local literature and studies, causing researchers to cease. Because of these adversities, the proponents of their research were inspired to make StudyPad, a research database for STEM students. This is the homepage of the StudyPad. StudyPy offers two free archives of San Mateo Senior High School STEM students. This research collection was formed through collaborative efforts of student researchers and research teachers. The collection is subdivided into two categories, namely validated and undervalidation. The group of validators encompasses different professional teachers with master's degree and research enthusiasts. So based on the problem cited on the back end of the study, the researchers were inspired to make a research that will answer the following questions. Number one, the level of performance of the students who did not use the Studify and students who used Studify in writing their research proposals. Number two, to what extent did the Studify help the students who used the website in writing their research proposal in terms of currency, relevance, authority, accuracy, and purpose. And lastly, the significant difference between the level of performance of the students who used StudyPy and the students who did not use StudyPy. This study intends to help the following individuals and group. The main beneficiary of the study are the students, as they are the ones who utilize the website and able to access local literature. By using StudyPy, the students can develop the research paper writing skills followed by the research teachers of San Mateo Senior High School as it aids their students' need in improving their research outputs. Additionally, the platform will help the teachers to check and analyze the research output of their students. The third is the parents, knowing that their children experience less stress when searching for information in research subjects is favorable for most of the parents. In addition, the study file can help the school administrators of SMSHS to bring up skillful students in terms of abstract reasoning and problem solving. Additionally, the website can be a good asset for school at, as it serves as compilation of studies of SMSHS students for future use. Lastly, the future researchers. They can use this study as the basis for their future research and they can use the intervention itself. The respondents of this research will utilize the StudyPy research website database for the structural development of their research proposal chapters 1 and 2. The respondents will include the grade 11 science technology, engineering, and mathematics of the San Mateo Senior High School academic year 2021 to 2022. As implied, one of the main objectives of this study is to determine whether StudyPy is effective in providing assistance to the students as they write their research proposals. With that objective, here are the research hypotheses the researchers formulated for the study. For the null hypothesis, the researchers hypothesized that there is no significant difference between the levels of performance of the students who used StudyPy or the respondents under the experimental group and the students who did not use StudyPy or the respondents under the control group. The alternative hypothesis, on the other hand, states that there is a significant difference between the levels of performance of the experimental and control groups. 
Now, the implication of rejecting the null hypothesis is that StudyPy is effective in helping the students as they construct their research proposals. Since this study aims to investigate and measure the usefulness of the study by the intervention, the researchers decided to make it experimental. Furthermore, based on the study of Macomb 2019, unlike in experimental research this time, a descriptive research only observes and measures the data. And this methodology focuses mainly on describing the characteristics of the population or the phenomenon being studied. That paves the way to the researchers to conclude that a descriptive experimental research design is preferable in this research study due to its relativity to the study's research objectives. The researchers use a proposed sampling technique based on the study of Oliver 2013, wherein it follows a variety of criteria in choosing the sample. Therefore, there are 10 groups with 3 to 4 members each in grade 11 from STEM strand of San Mateo Senior High School, and they are divided into two groups. 5 for experimental and 5 for control. The researchers utilize two research instruments. One of these is the Praap Test Likert Scale Type Survey Questionnaire, adapted from the Stark State's Digital Library. The next is the Teacher's Criteria, formulated by the research teacher of Practical Research 1 of grades 11 STEM students. Now, this part explains the data analysis plan the researchers employed for this study. In determining the levels of performance of both experimental and control groups, the researchers used the scores on their outputs, given by the research teacher, based on the criteria the teacher formulated. The researchers obtained two such scores. Next, in determining the extent of assistance study by provided to the students, the researchers sought for the students' evaluation of the website. They asked them to answer the Likert scale questionnaire. The data acquired from the questionnaire were analyzed by calculating the weighted needs. Lastly, in determining if there is a significant difference between the levels of performance of the experimental and control groups, the researchers used t-tests of two independent populations. This table presents the mean and standard deviation of the levels of performance of the students and their level of mastery. As the table shows, the group is subdivided into two, the experimental and the control group. Upon receiving the raw scores from the research teacher of the respondents, the researchers calculated the mean or the weighted average of the experimental and control. As for the experimental group, they got 37.4 mean. While for the control group, they got 35.6. Calculated mean, the researchers also calculated the standard deviation or the measure of how dispersed the scores are in relation to the mean. The experimental has a standard deviation of 2.07, while the control group has a standard deviation of 3.65. All in all, both of the groups got a highly favorable level of mastery. This table presents the study by CRAAP test results given by the student respondents of the research. The experimental group had a high level of satisfaction in utilizing the website, wherein an average of 3.55 was obtained. Currency gained the highest score among all of the five factors wherein it has a 3.80 rate. Meanwhile, Relevance has the lowest score with a 3.40 rate. Additionally, Authority and Purpose had a score of 3.60 and 3.50 respectively. And lastly, Accuracy gained a 3.47 score among all of the five factors. All in all, the study by CRAAP test results show that it has a very satisfactory Quantitative description. Table 4 here shows the t test analysis of the students' obtained mean scores. First of all, the mean scores of the two groups differ by 4.81%. However, this difference is insignificant according to the t test result. As you can see, the test statistic or t value is 0 0.96, and it is less than the critical value, which is 3.31. With this, the decision of the researchers is to accept the null hypothesis which states that there is no significant difference between the levels of performance of the experimental and control groups, and this is on a level of significance of 5%. Furthermore, the researchers also compared the standard deviations of the two groups. As it turns out, the scores of the respondents from the control group are dispersed farther from the respective mean score compared to the experimental group. Based on the yield of data, the scores obtained by the groups are highly favorable to the teacher's criteria. Second, the study by 
respondent found the website to be current, relevant, authorized, accurate, and purposeful in the structural development of the research proposal of chapters 1 and 2. And lastly, there is no significant difference between the level of performance of the students who use Studify and students who did not use Studify. Based on the findings, the following recommendations are made. First, the future researchers may expand the scope of the study to include more than providing structural development, references, and recommended study. Additionally, the researchers suggest to develop a more informative and diverse website by gathering more studies not limited for STEM students. For the success of the next study, the platform may be utilized by the students of SMHSS under the academic and technical vocational livelihood track in different research subjects. The school head may promote study by to gather further collaborators from other strands and tracks. Additionally, to look for possible sponsors to aid the research website's database publication. Lastly, the research teachers may also encourage the students to upload their final paper on the platform. Thank you for lending us your ears, your mind, and your time. We are so grateful for this opportunity. Once more, we are from Group A of 12 STEM Veritas, greeting you a blessed and a prosperous day.